Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 15 in Custo playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about where and filter operators in Custo query language. So by this time, if you have followed my previous videos of Custo playlist, you already know like where operator is similar to where what we use in SQL statements. For example, if you want to filter the data from the input rows, you want to take only subset of the rows, then in that cases we will use work and then we will mention a condition there. You already know this if you have seen my previous videos, but let's try to discuss little in detail about this where operator. So this where operator is actually similar to filter operator. So you can use either filter operator and where operator. And as I said, this will filter the data. That means if you are getting 10 rows or from the 10 rows, maybe you want to take out only five rows, six rows, based on some condition, then you can use where or filter operator. Up to you, both can be used. So uh, if you see the image here, here I used where operator and here I used filter operator. Both will actually work the same way. So very simple, similar to SQL, how we have the where condition, same way here also we have where operator or filter operator. So let me practically explain you this. Let's go to Custo Explorer and this is a Custo Explorer. And in the Custo Explorer, uh, we have something called a Strom Events Table. By this time, you already know what is this Strom Events Table, right? The, the same table we are referring in all the examples of previous videos. And here under Connections, we connected to Help Cluster, even this you know. Under the Help Cluster, we will have so many types of different sample databases to which you can connect and explore your Custo query language actually. So this is all you know if you have seen my previous videos. So please check previous videos if you haven't seen to get most out of it and to know how to connect the help cluster and other things. So now under samples database, we have Strom events table. Under tables, under Strom events uh, folder, we have Strom events table. And this table will actually contains all the Stroms related information for United States of America states with some timestamp. So let me execute this only table to see the full data here. Let's wait for the results here. You can see we got all the data totally 59,000 59, plus records we have. Okay, and we have state column, event type column and everything, right? So now uh, let's assume for some reason uh, I want to filter only the data where state equals to New York maybe. So if you want only New York related state information, that means from my input rows, I'm filtering out some set of rows based on some condition. If that is the need, then what you can do here, you put a pipe symbol and use this where operator and you mention your condition here, where state equals to equals to like this New York. So once you mention your condition like this and once you run the query, this time it will take all the rows and filter them based on this condition. So that means now in the output, you will see only New York related information. So totally 1750 records are there for New York. Okay. So not only where I can also use filter also here. Let me copy this and let me paste it here. And this time instead of where, let me use filter here. Even filter operator will work exactly same way. Now let me execute this query here. And if you see still the same result and same number of records. So where operator and filter operator both are equivalent actually. So like this, uh, this where and filter operators are very helpful. One small thing I want to show you like if for example, if you want to uh, filter uh, wherever like there is something called weather, right? So from the entire table, from the entire columns, wherever we have this weather word in any column, then get all the rows. If that is the case, what you can do here is where, what I can do instead of specifying one single column, where star means all columns has, here I can mention like the condition, maybe like uh, weather, okay? So what it will do, it will search for this word in all the columns and for example, in the row one, in any one of the column you have this word, then that row will come. Then in the 10th row also, we have this word in any one of the column, then that will come. So that's how this will search for that keyword in all the columns and whatever the column, if it is there, then that row will come. So let me select this and let me execute this and let me show you the results. 
so you can see now we got all the informations and you can see here all we have this weather information weather word is there that's the reason this rose came but here there is no weather word so why it came because not in this column maybe in another column we may we may have this weather word let me practically show you this so in this row if i scroll towards right definitely i will be having that weather related word in any other see here you can see here we have that weather so i think uh, in this column we have it so see wet weather continued from late so you that means since this keyword is available in any one of the column that row also will come so this is how where and filter operators will actually work i hope you got an idea how they work thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much